Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Quickies, uh, which I call them as fast food for thought and this is one fast food that uh, is definitely not harmful for the students. Okay, so I brought forward to you a little topic on uh, ICR and in this particular situation that you see on the thumbnail, uh, a famous little problem on a rod which is hung by two vertical strings and one of the strings is cut immediately after where is the ICR. So this is a very famous problem, So, but the location of ICR is generally not seen by the students and also uh, some of them misunderstand the under, um, concept of ICR. So at the end of the problem, after locating the ICR, I'll give you two practice problems to further enhance the uh, concept of ICR. So I hope you wait till the end and attempt and do let me know your response. Okay, so let's move forward and check out the problem statement here. Okay. So here's the problem statement. Two vertical strings support a uniform inclined rod in the same vertical plane as shown. The string at end B is cut. So this side, identify the coordinates of ICR of the rod immediately after the cut. So in order to identify the coordinates, some coordinate system is mentioned. So the left end, which is the end A, is mentioned as the origin. And the rightward axis is x-axis and vertically upward is y-axis. This distance to this distance, that means the end coordinates of this point are A comma B. So in terms of A comma B, you are supposed to uh, mention the location of the ICR. So four possible answer coordinates are mentioned. So if you want to give it a try, pause the video here, try it for one or two minutes and do come back for the concept solution. And also at the end, most importantly, the practice problem. <coughs> so I'm moving forward with the concept. So before I uh, give you the concept and solution, one simple request as usual in every video to keep the channel alive. So this time uh, the target likes for this particular video is 600 and thanks to all of you uh, for reaching almost nearly the target likes of 750 for the last video. And as I promised, once the likes are reached, I will not wait for these number of days. So it's in your hands whether uh, this target or the 10 days target is reached. So I hope you keep supporting me in the same manner. Okay, uh, before we move forward, uh, for the new students, I have uh, already taught ICR concept many ways in many series. Uh, one of the latest videos being uh, the ICR on the friction analysis on the tires of a turning cycle. So in that particular uh, problem, we have ensured that uh, whenever cycle is taking turn and in order to mention the ICR for the uh, points in contact with the floor, we consider the velocity vectors of the bottommost points here and here the, for the axle, not bottommost points, but these axle points. And uh, for that particular velocity vectors, you draw two perpendicular lines and you meet at the point called as ICR. All that was very elaborately explained. So I would request you to check that video. Link of that is in the description below or the I button above. And many more past videos also are there. So I'll give you the playlist of uh, rotation also at the end of the video and also in the description. So please do check out if you are new to this channel. So using that uh, concept, we'll further add one more idea to this famous problem. Okay, so uh, in order to understand the concept, so let's look at this famous little problem from the internet where once the string is cut, we first of all try to understand the directions of acceleration of this point A and the center of mass. Once you know the direction of accelerations, you will know the direction of velocities just after the cut or dt seconds after the cut, okay, which will uh, ensure that we can easily locate the position of ICR, okay, right? So the idea is to use the string constraint for the location of the, uh, not location, the acceleration of this point A. So let me give you that understanding. So here on the right side of your screen, you could see that this point, which is the end point A, can only have an acceleration just after the cut in this direction because the string, which is inextensible, will not allow this point to go down. Okay, so the acceleration of point A has to be leftwards and in dt seconds, it will acquire a dt amount of velocity. So the velocity direction dt seconds later is leftward. Same logic if you use 
for the acceleration of center of mass. Remember, center of mass is governed by the external forces on the system. So once you cut this part of the string, there are only two external forces. One is mg and one is the tension t. And you could notice in this problem, both are vertical, which means the acceleration of center of mass can only have a vertical component. So dt seconds later, the velocity will also be acm into dt. So just notice the two important velocity directions that is for point A and the center of mass, which will carry forward and we'll try to check the position of ICR. For this particular problem, let me mark the simplistic looking answer. That is the initial acceleration of A is horizontal and the initial acceleration of center of mass is vertical. And therefore the correct statements are Q and R. Okay, so this is a standard looking problem which I have enhanced in order to make this problem. Okay, so in order to look at the ICR, I borrowed the velocity vectors of this point and the center of mass. I drew perpendicular lines to that and located the point of ICR somewhere here. Okay, since this is 0, 0, this is AB, the midpoint is A by 2, comma B by 2, and this location would be 0, comma B by 2, and this is the idea for locating the ICR. It seems to be on the string, right? Somewhere here on the point on the string, it seems to be. Or is it actually a point on the string? And that's the crux of our practice problems. I hope you're excited to look at them. So before I go there, uh, I would request you to uh, check out all the links uh, in the about me section of the channel in order to connect to me. There is a Discord server, there is a Telegram doubts group for students, and also there is a website uh, which contains the playlist of different chapter wise uh, videos of this particular channel, which uh, ensures the revision of the uh, aspirants is done in a quicker manner. Okay, so also then my social media presence is there for non aspirants. Aspirants should not waste their time on the bottom three. Okay, right. Uh, so this is how the landing page of my website looks like. How I you should be using the website. I made a video on the usage of the website and link of that video is in the description below or the i button above. You should check it out if you are new to this channel. Okay, so here's the practice problem. So the two problems for the same situation I'm asking step by step if you can answer these two your understanding of ICR becomes much much better okay and which of the following is the best description of ICR of the rod which we found ICR as 0 comma b by 2 somewhere here right we drew perpendicular line here and here we found that it is here now I want you to describe that point okay right this description and the answer to these whether one of the four options is correct or not, is going to check your understanding of ICR instead of just mugging the method, okay? So is it the space point? That means a point zero comma B by two, which is fixed to space. Is it the material point on the string that you have taken? Or is it both? It doesn't matter. Let's suppose whether you describe it this way or that way, the property of ICR remains the same. Is it option C? Or is it neither of the two descriptions? And it is maybe some other description that you could give me in order to describe the property of ICR for the rod alone, okay, right? Once you get that, I want you to tell me the acceleration of that, that ICR of the rod immediately after the cut in terms of uh, vertical gravitational uh, acceleration G and A and B parameters. I would request you to give me the answer for this second one. It could be zero also, and uh, you could mention the response in the comments below along with the timestamp. Once the video becomes old, it will be difficult for me to navigate through uh, without the timestamp. I'll answer this in the physics surgery originals once the likes for this particular video is reached and immediately uh, after a few days. Okay, so I will be waiting for your responses in the comment section below. As I said, many more ICR and better rotation challenges are there for JE mains and advanced uh, aspirants. So please do check out all the subtopic playlists. I did not put all of them in one rotation playlist. I divided rotation further into four subtopics and each of them contains nice little videos to enhance your preparation. So all of them are in the description below. So please do explore them, watch few videos every day in order to cut, catch up if you are new to this channel. Uh, apart from that Discord server, how, what is the use and how you should be utilizing it? And if you're a beginner, I've made a video tutorial on that. Uh, link of that is in the description below or the I button above. There are separate channels for the doubts, including the rotation channel. You go there, you can check out the past doubts and how they are answered by the students there. It has already crossed 3K subscribers, 3K serious aspirants and teachers are there in that particular Discord server. You should be visiting it. Okay, so see you there.
And apart from physics surgery quickies, there are many more series. I have written four series here. There are many more which cater to the needs of different aspirants and students and teachers in this uh, channel. So link of all those playlists are in the description below. Just explore and enjoy. Okay, so please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. It keeps me motivated to keep uh, developing some good videos. It gives me a lot of satisfaction connecting with you uh, in an otherwise uh, difficult world for me, right? So maybe an offline teacher like me can only connect to students which in a fixed room, fixed number of them. But YouTube has given me a lovely platform to connect all of you. Okay, so I hope I keep doing that and you keep ensuring that you love me back. Okay, so thanks a lot and see you in the next awesome video.